Yeah, hi. Look, I'd just like to introduce myself. Uh, my name's Randall Thomas Walkill. Um, I'm named after my father, Clifford Thomas Walkill, and he's named after his dad, Tom Walkill. I once heard an old island chief um, give advice to his eldest son, who was going to be chief of the village. He, he, his advice was, don't speak too much because it causes confusion. And I suppose he was saying, um, actions speak louder than words. We've been here for 150 years and uh, the majority of Australians have little or no knowledge of Australian South Sea Islanders. I, I love it because of the family values it has taught me along the way. Uh, and I've only been here for 50 years, but those values have, have been here for 150 years. But I just want to talk about my um, my dad's side, the Walkill family. The family tree goes back to a, a lady called Princess Bina. And uh, Princess Bina come over here. Um, I wasn't too sure what age she came over here. But uh, that lady, once she got over here, she married, she married three times. And from that tree, um, we're pretty um, wide. My story begins uh, as a lonely boy, afraid, ashamed. Um, growing up, I, I went to school. And, there's always milestones that change your life at school. For me, it was um, the association with white kids. I never understood why white kids would associate with me. I didn't know my heritage or culture until I was in my teens. And then I was still confused around the politics I went with the Australian South Sea Islands. I used to get ab study. Uh, and my family was the one of the first South Sea Island families to get a Indigenous home in Rockhampton. Um, and that's what opened my eyes and um, it was at that time my, I started to realise that we, we were South Sea Islanders and I, I knew a little bit about my heritage. As a man now, um, I have three daughters myself and a grandson. And I want them to grow up not the way I grew up, um, not knowing who you are or wondering why um, kids don't associate with you. And I'm very passionate about being in South Yola now and I want to get recognition. I want to have um, awareness. I suppose for me, um, if you're listening to this short story, I'd like for you at the end of this short story, tell other Australians about the Australian South Yola story.